bars. This is the fun part. Here's all your textures. Let's see, I'm on 10, so I'll keep those. There is 24 textures. Whole bunch of textures to go through. I prefer 10. It's just a nice, uh, has a little strike through it. Looks, looks kind of nice. Number of columns, that's the max number of columns you'll have. I like to keep it at five because you put, you know, five person per group. So that's five across. And then if you're in a 10 man, there'll be two rows. If you're in a 25 man, there'll be five rows. So it's nice and even. Uh, height and width, these are the height of the bars and the width of the bars. I like to keep the height just enough so you see the person's name and how much health they have. Anything higher than that's kind of pointless. And you could have big, big, blocky bars that will take up your entire screen if you want or you can have super tiny bars that you can't really click oh I forgot where I was 20 I think I was 30 oh, let's go with 31 width is the same thing All right, 122 I gotta remember that you want super long bars super small bars uh, row spacer I like to keep it at zero just because you know it's kind of an unneeded thing. You don't need that extra space. It's just taking up more screen space. And the same thing is for column. I keep it at a low number just because if you put it at zero, they kind of merge together. Um, then you have all your opacity, opacity, however you pronounce that. The only thing I really have is out of range. Like you see, Kenlock, Osiris, Katoro, they are out of range, so. And they are taking damage for some reason. Uh, so I have that down to 27%. Disabled, I keep that at 100 just because uh, I'd like to have all my bars able to be seen. You can have zero if you want. That way, unless they are active, and active also means that they are taking damage, they will not be shown. Which I don't like that, just because I like to not be forced to only heal people that need health. You know, if if a bar is disabled and you know that a I don't know a big AOE raid wide damage is coming. You don't want to not be able to at least start your heroes. Like with uh, Stinky and Precious, the Decimate. When Decimate gets down to like one second left, I usually am already starting to cast some heals. That way as soon as it hits, the, you know, the tanks are already halfway healed, the heals are already getting heals. And if shit's disabled, you can't do that. You just have to sit there and wait until Decimate happens and by that time someone could have died. Um, aggro bar, mm, I don't really use it, so, but it's just the size of it. Same thing with mana. I find it kind of stupid. Well, I guess it's not stupid, but I usually just use my group frames on the side to look at mana, but I do not use those. Um, you can color the bars, you can do it by health. So they're all nice and green now. When they get, you know, they'll go yellow to red, I think. Custom, if you want some crazy color or something. I usually just do it by class. Um, you can change the incoming hills to a certain color. Like if you want to have your un incoming hills a bright green or a bright blue or something so you can see them better, you can do that. I usually just keep them. Uh, the same as the bar. So I think that's all of those. Icons. I don't think I use any icons. Oh, wait. I use ready checks. That's nice to know. But once again, you can just use your raid frames. Um, show raid target. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's the uh, marking. I do use that for the tanks. That, you know. A lot of time they'll mark them, start, usually start in circle or start in diamond. 
And it's just nice to be able to see the little star on your uh, heel butt. Looks like they're getting ready to go. Well, I'm not going to be tanking this, so they're probably going to be pissed at me when I leave. Let's see if there's another group I can jump into. Not really. Okay, well, I just will not accept that summon. You be a dick. Uh, you can show hots on them. There's a little hop. You can show debuffs. Uh, you can choose where you want it, the icon scale. I usually keep it pretty small. <sighs> aggro, you can monitor aggro. It'll just keep uh, right next to their health. It'll be two... Oh, what are those things called? They're not carrots. They're like the greater than, less than signs. It'll just have a percent. And you can change that like flash bar. Um, you can show it. You can put it as a percent. You can change colors of how much aggro they have. I don't really need that because, you know, in raids, chances are um, the tanks will have the aggro. So don't really need it. And plus the raid frames have a built-in aggro thing, so if someone else m happens to get aggro, their bar flashes red in the raid frames and you can give them some spot heals until the tanks get more aggro. Crash protection? Don't really know what that is. I assume it's something for if healbot crashes it saves your settings or something. I'm not sure. I don't use it. Let's see if I can get a scroll over. Nope, there's no tips. Okay. Chat. Um, you can set it so whenever you heal, uh, whenever you heal someone, it will notify them in chat or something. It gets very, very annoying to actually enable those, especially if um, you know you're in a boss fight and you're spamming heals. You don't want to be. Examine has casted Flash of Light. Examine has cast Flash of Light and just spam the hell out of that. It's not very good. But I do have Notify on Resurrection. So, you know, if we down the boss and there's, you know, three people dead, I go ahead, click their bar, start resing them. It spams something in Raid. It says, uh, what does it say? Casting Resurrection on whatever whatever the target is. That way the other healers know, okay, he's already resing him, I can go res someone else or something. Um, bar text, this is the actual text on the bars. There's color text by class. I usually uncheck that, just keep it a nice white or gray, whatever it is. Show class on bars. Um, I want to say that's that actually shows the class, but I'm not entirely sure. As I can't, let's see, as text. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing anything, so let's just keep that on check. Show name on bar, that's kind of a given. Uh, maybe not. If you're just focused straight on raid heals, you might not really care who's getting heals as long as someone is, so. But I usually keep my names up there. Double text line. I usually keep that just so it's a little neater. Um, it just changes from all one line to uh, two lines. Show health on bar, that's kind of a given as well. You don't want to just focus on what their bar looks like because, you know, uh, clothies have less health than tanks. So 50% to a clothie could be, they only have. 10 health left, whether a tank could still have 40k health left. And then the type of, um, you know, include heals done. Then the type of health, there's straight health, how much health they have. You know, like, uh, tank has 48,000, I have 30. I only have 33,000. Oh, I'm not in my tank here, never mind. Um, you can do as a percent. That's a, you know, everyone's at 100%, just goes down by percent. I usually use delta, that means everyone starts at zero. And let's say I get hit for 5,000, it'll be negative 5,000. And then the tank goes, the other tank, and he gets cleaved for another 10,000. 
his bar will show negative 10,000. I just, I prefer that. Um, sorry, I'm just reading these guys bitching at me for not being there. Um, yeah, so it's just better to, I, I, I find it better to have a negative rather than um, just a straight value. Then you can change the format of the health. I usually use just the straight numbers, but you can also do like, you know, the example is 4,321. You can also do just a straight 4K, 4.3K, 4.32K, 4K, 4, I don't know what the difference between all these are. Well, one of them doesn't have K after the end. I don't know, I just use straight health. Or you can also do these weird ones where it's like bracketed. Oh, I got kicked. Those fuckers. Um, okay, let's see if there's another read I can sit in. T uh, look for tank. No. Okay, whatever. I'll just keep going until I see one. Um, text alignment. You put left of the bar right of the bar, I usually do middle. You can change the font, font size. Um, and this is just an example of what it looks like when uh, it's enabled, disabled, all that. Eye context. Uh, if you want to show icons, and obviously the text that goes along with those icons, you can do right here. And I don't use those, so I'm not going to go through them because I'm not familiar with this, that part. Um, 